A power station generates electric power at 120 kilowatts. It sends this power to a town several kilometers away through transmission lines that have a total resistance of 0.4 ohms. If the power is transmitted at 240 volts, calculate the current in the transmission lines. So here we'll be using just our regular equation, I equals P on V. We know our power is 120 kilowatts. Um, we, can, we know the voltage as well. So our current will be power over voltage. Substitute those in. 120,000 over 240 because we have to turn the kilowatts into watts. And that'll evaluate to 500 amperes, which is quite a large current. So what are we using that resistance for? Part B. Find the power loss in the transmission lines. Now remember, this is always given by I squared R. So the power loss equals I squared, and here's I, times R, which is over here. So we take 500 and we square it, and we multiply it by the resistance. We'll end up with 500 squared times 0.4, which evaluates to 100 kilowatts, which is a large number. So you can see that if we start off with 120 kilowatts and we lose 100 kilowatts, then five-sixths of our power is actually being wasted uh, by heating up the lines that we're sending it through. So it means that we, if we send it at 240 volts, then we're losing a lot of energy. If we want to send electricity this far, then we're going to need to step it up in order to be able to send it without losing most of the power. Remember this question, because we'll come back to it in a little while. So a signal with a power of 120 kilowatts is stepped up to 11 kilovolts without loss and then sent through the long transmission lines that have a total resistance of 0.4 ohms. So presumably they've used our advice and our answers to one of the earlier questions to step it up to 11 kilovolts from 240 volts. So calculate the current in the transmission lines. Last time it was 500 amperes and we had a lot of loss. What will it be this time? We have the power, we have the voltage, we can find the current. Current equals power divided by voltage. Substitute those in. We end up with 120,000 over 11,000, which evaluates to about 10.9 amps, which is much lower than 500. Isn't it good that we transformed it? Part B will, of course, be calculate the power loss in the transmission lines. I hope you remember the uh, formula for this. Power loss equals I squared R. Now last time we were squaring 500. Now that we've transformed it to 11 kilovolts, we are only squaring 10. So our equation looks something like this. 10.9 squared times 0.4. Now uh, the power loss for our last one was 100 kilowatts. For this one it's only 47 and a half watts which means that it's not just half of 100 watts, it's uh, about 1 2,000th of uh, 100 kilowatts. So we can see that transforming something up to 11 kilovolts, in fact, makes a huge difference to the amount of uh, energy that we can transmit without losing.